Hi, I'm going to get you familiarized society, sociology, and sociological research in this video. To achieve this aim, I'm going to briefly talk about what sociology is, the concept of society, origins of sociology, basic concepts of sociological research, methodological approaches in sociology, and lastly, qualitative and quanti quantitative research models. As a branch of social sciences, the, the discipline of sociology focuses on interaction between social actors and society. It provides us a perspective to research various issues that can be a social fact, social malady, or a social change. An important trait of the sociological research lies in its ability to, to enable us seeing how society shapes individuals' behaviors. It also shows us social characteristics of individuals' decisions, values, norms, and behaviors. Such an emphasis on sociology inevitably, inevitably leads us to clarify what sociologists mean as they talk about society. Society can be considered as a totality of the mutual relationship and interactions among people who have gathered together, who share a specific territory and culture, as well as common social institutions. Main types of societies can be signified as hunting and gathering societies, pastoral societies, agrarian societies, traditional states, industrial or modern societies, and post-industrial societies. Although it is not easy to point out a pre precise date for the birth of sociology, we can note that the influence of the French Revolution and the Industrial Revolution were the major so social transformations or change that have taken place in the 18th century and led to birth of sociological ways of inquiry. Following these major transformations in European societies, the old traditional societies, which was based on kinship, land ownership, religion, local communities and monarchies, were replaced by a new society that was an industrialized, ur urbanized and bureaucratized societies. This major change caused chaos and disorder in the society, and the first sociologists tried to understand why and how societies change. So, it can be said that roots of sociology lie in attempts to answer questions about the structure, change, and future of the society by using certain systematic methods of scientific inquiry. <clears throat> Before moving on, to briefly explain these methods, we should point out and explain certain common concepts used in sociological research. Drawing on Worry's concept, the discipline of sociology research society and social life. On these one of these concepts is what we call social action. Social action is an action toward the past, present, or future actions of the others. Another concept is social structure that is regular, permanent, and usual relations among members of society, which is composed by continuous and repetitive social actions. Social institutions is one another concept. It can be considered as a socially organized patterns of social actors. Social facts, on the other hand, can be defined as acting, thinking, feeling patterns in a society. An important concept is social groups that can be considered as a set of people who are in mutual relation interaction. Status is also frequently encountered in sociological research. It can be considered as a rank or position that a person or a group of people hold in the society. Lastly, we should point out values and norms. Values are ideals and faiths which people in society consider as important determin determinant of their way of life. Norms, on the other hand, are the visible and invisible rules resulting from values. So, what are the main methodological approaches in sociological research? It wouldn't be wrong to claim that the positivist approach is the oldest method of social inquiry in sociological investigation. The positivist approach de depends on the assertion that science has only one logic and any intellectual activity can be considered as scientific if only it matches such logic. According to the positivism, there are social laws regulating the social world, 
And these laws and social reality itself exist independently of people themselves. However, according to the interpretive approach, social facts are not stable. They constantly const continue, continue to be established. According to the interpretive approach, the social world is established through cultural relations, as well as intentional actions of people. When any other methodological approach is known as the critical approach that shares some characteristic of both positivism and interpretive approach. It claims that social reality exists independently from human actions. However, it also argues that social reality is shaped by social, political, economic and cultural factors. For critical approach, social reality changes in time and it proposed to focus on conflict between different groups in society. Feminist approach is another and relatively new approach in sociological ways of inquiry. This approach is based on feminist theories and adopted by researchers who have developed feminist perspective. The purpose of feminist research is to reveal how gender and power relations are penetrated in every aspect of social life. Lastly, we should also point out postmodern approach that has been drawn on frequently in sociological research recently. It rejects all organized belief system, including social theory and the notion of linear historical development and progress. Postmodern approach, for postmodern approach, there is no difference between social science, art and literature. It argues that research cannot have a function other than describing and all descriptions are the same in terms of their value. Lastly, we should briefly describe distinctions of qualitative and quantitative research design in sociological ways of inquiry. Quantitative design depends on the positivist approach. The aim of the quantitative research is to explore the social laws through revealing the causality relations between social facts. Concepts are transformed into measurable variables and data are gathered with precise measurements. Samples are large and selected through probable sampling techniques. Findings of the research are presented with charts, tables and graphics. Qualitative research design, on the other hand, is based on the interpretive approach and aims to understand pers perspectives of social actors. The purpose of the qualitative research is to understand how people constitute meaning and social reality in their social context. It aims to define social facts in depth and to interpret the com complex relations. Samples are smaller and findings are presented verbally in a way that shows the details, depth and variety of the data. Thank you for watching.